Hi, Bell Hunsaw here again, another one of my current events videos on some of the multiple platforms I'm now on, and I, I thank my assistant Joe for arranging things like that. And this one, I'm going to talk about what I've got on going here. It's really astounding when you think about it, but it's what happens when you have, as I do, five decades of intense, passionate, and independent study of the Constitution, history, and laws of the United States. Hey, I've got it figured out. As many of you that are watching my videos know, you know, the crown jewel of all of my issues is there are no states. That is seemingly astounding, but I got an 84 page brief on that subject alone. That being the case, we don't have any judicial courts because if we had states admitted into this union, there would be at least one such court in every county and every state exercising the judicial power of the state and or the judicial power of the United States. We don't have them. That in effect makes every fucking law on the books null and void, no pro ton ab initio as a bill of attainder, aka to the framers of the Magna Carta as a writ of precipice. We don't have it. We don't have the right to trial by jury. You can't go in and question virtually anything the government does except under the damn civil quote-unquote rights statutes, and only when they have to make it look good. And it's a rare occurrence. Rodney King jumps immediately to mind here. Only then, you know, do they actually allow someone to walk out with a quote-unquote win. I'm going to do a hell of a lot better than that. Because what I do, um, it's so good. Uh, when you get the full explanation, it's so good that we won't even have to file any court papers in your case because there isn't going to be anything happen in one of their corrupt courts anyway. And the leverage you're going to have, that's the beauty of it. Because I have multiple unopposed constitutional issues. Those of you that follow my videos know, you know, it covers all six articles of the constitution and a lot to do with the state constitutions too, if states still existed. So that said, what we do is serve them up what I call an opening shot across the bow about your case and about the fact that they should want to make a quick settlement here, keep things quiet, not let us file any court papers, and certainly not let us consider going before a federal criminal grand jury. Because there's a lot of acts, uh, career ending acts, let alone acts of treason that get committed against us every day by these black folk bastards, local dumbasses, state bar association attorneys, you name it. And this is the way we can stop it and start to get our federated Republican form of government back. Now, the good news in all this, by the way, is I'm the bad guy here. So if we run into any problems at your end, especially in a distant jurisdiction, you just take the easy out and blame me and say, hey, here's the stupid constitutional cook that told me all this crap. Looks like he was wrong across the board. Why don't you file a complaint against him for practicing law without a license? But call him in Columbia, South Carolina first. And they'll let you know what I did. I shut the bastards up in the first 30 seconds of the initial appearance I had there. They've never recovered from that. And as you can see, I'm back home now, not rotting away in some prison cell in South Carolina because I stood up there and did it with attitude, with ability, and with evidence. And they couldn't match it. They didn't even attempt to do it when the bottom line came, just like in the Oakland case out here, my local felony case. wasn't my case, but I won for the same reasons. So that said, you can do the same thing, and you will not have had to have set a record in your case. This is what's great about it. Because even if you don't have a record, you have the same 800 pages we have in Oakland, or you would have had if your defense counsel <clears throat> had done his sworn duty and presented these issues, and or if there were any meaningful and substantive curricula in the mandatory public education system, such that you would know about your rights and how to invoke them. Or in the alternative, if you would have met me early on and gotten my documents and filed them at the clerk of court, served them on the dumbass and gotten a hearing on the record. All of that would have happened, and by the way, the Constitution mandates and the Supreme Court gets it, you can challenge the jurisdiction at any time, which is in effect what we're going to be doing with an offensive petition for redress, 
something that should have been done from day one. And in first, it doesn't matter how many years ago. My case against the airport goes back now in my 15th year. And there's still no statute of limitations because of the deceit, fraud, and treason. These bastards pull off in the system knowingly or not doesn't matter. If we don't have judicial courts, we don't have any remedies, namely the right by trial by jury according to the course of the common law. And for crying out loud, inhabitants of territories have that right secured by Article 2 of the uh, Northwest Ordinance of 1787 as reenacted by the first Congress. State citizens don't have this. At least state citizens, and I would say state inhabitants, uh, and other people uh, who should, and this is a big deal and a big distinction from civil rights. If you go into the 14th Amendment, eh, see you later, you don't have any remedies, only such as the government will permit you to engage in. That's what we have to get away from. All you advocates of civil rights out there, Jesse Jackson, Al Sharpton, eh, get over it already. Get rid of the crap. Stop riding on the backs of your people in positions of power while you're doing nothing for them. Time enough to get rid of all the divide and conquer crap they've been doing for at least 150 years. We all work together and pull together. We'll get there a hell of a lot quicker. And with a lot more people doing it, it's going to put even more pressure on the system, which is in an extraordinary period of time now, as you know, with the recent quote unquote election, the COVID pandemic BS now in its second year. So, this is all of the kind of stuff I want to end. And before I go out of here, make things better. For everyone and you can do an active part you know learn it especially you with uh, younger ages and you have children and you have maybe grandchildren posterity and you set an example for them to show that it can be done and this is the only nation where it could be done and i think if we have our constitution we still can and there's a lot of reasons to think that as you'll hear from me if we work together um and offensively uh, this can be done just acquiring my modestly priced constitutional defense document packet, send me an email, you went in court at gmail.com about that, and a modest monthly retainer offensively, and I'll be taking as big a risk as you are because it's a lot of time and effort for me, but I'm confident I may not win them all, but I'm not going to lose them all either, and the leverage we have is astounding here. If even one of these big issues that I advocate you know, comes to light and the nine old parts rule on it in the way they have a sworn duty to do. No states, no 14th Amendment, no Republican form of government, no quorum in the House, nobody in the Senate, no president, ain't all of it. They can't afford to have that come out. That's what makes them get the wallets out. Can't have that happen. So that said, um, you know, anyone that wants to contact me about that and see if we can work together here. And there will be some work at your end, but not the 10,000 hours I had to put in those musty old stacks of law books starting out in the early 1980s. Didn't have internet back then. You had to do it the hard way. In a way, that's personally good for me because I've got a pretty good memory to start with. And when I read things, I tend to memorize. And by the way, it's a lot more than names, dates, and places. My goodness, they start talking to me. And if I ever get an in-person settlement conference with any of these bastards or the perps, as I call them, maybe in your case, I go in there. First thing I want to tell them is it took me 30 seconds in South Carolina to make believers out of them. Let's see how long it'll take you. As I can talk, I mean, they have no clue what they're up against there. And that's the good news. You have that. And especially those of you that have some study and ability at your end makes it even better. I've got a case in Ohio now where the guy wrote some of the best paperwork I've seen, not my own. And that really sets the stage. You know, it's a big help. But even if you didn't have that advantage, it's not your fault that you didn't. As I said, that you know, and jurisdiction can be challenged at any time. We can do it with a petition for redress and ask them what the hell they were doing here with attorneys that are supposedly sworn to be bound by this constitution and laws enacted pursuant to thereof as well as the black robe bastards. And these are even worse, the Supreme Court has said, even in the context of the 14th War Amendment, ain't, that they have to be neutral magistrates. Now, a lot of, you know, I've had it happen over the course of decades here. A lot of my friends that I deal with have had it happen. You go in and you file documents in the open case, 800 pages, which is almost 600 pages of jury instructions. 
and they get summarily denied without the local dumbass even to have a file opposition. If the situation is reversed, what the hell do you think is going to happen? They put a motion in, we don't answer. See you later. You're out of here. Probably in jail. <clears throat> See you later. This is a neutral magistrate? Really? Well, I think the framers of the Constitution will have a real hard time with that. So there's so much leverage you have, it's exciting. That's why at age 72, my life is still ahead of me. Because I'm still learning, I'm still getting better, I'm teaching you how to do it. And, you know, to try to get at them. And by the way, it's a lot more than just the money involved. And that's what a jury would see, which they can't have happen. Because if it does, we're going to be the ones that have the credibility uh, and not them. All they got is $2,000 suits, you know, on their damn state bar association, where they're trying to make changes that the jury will understand, you know, that's for their benefit as well as ours. It's never going to happen. They can't let that. They quit in Oakland. They would not go to trial against me criminally, knowing I'm going to be testifying as an expert witness, a cappella, and blow their socks off. They're not going to do it in the current petition for redress we have either. The same situation. I'm going to tell them, you're stupid enough to do that. Go for it. Because I'll blow your ass right out in court, and the jury won't even have to go back in the jury room to deliberate. That's how bad it is for them. But that's how good it is for those when you know the power you have and the rights you have. It makes a difference in your life. You know, especially those that may have fallen by the wayside here and, and gotten involved in drugs and alcohol and things. You now have a reason to believe in yourself and know that we have the right to life, liberty, and pursuit of happiness. Our life means something and we want to do something with it. That's the best message we can have. A jury is going to see that and they will respond to it. But we're never going to see a jury because they're going to get the checkbooks out and make it worth our while. And in life-changing amounts, now sure enough, by the way, money cannot solve all problems. I get that. You know, some things, especially if you had a dear one that's been shot and killed, and I have a friend of mine who just recently had that happen, you can't ever make up for that. You know, it just doesn't work that way, obviously. But if we get some real justice, you know, for the Breonna Taylors of the world and the George Floyds, you know, now we start sending some of these law enforcement thugs into jail uh, for what they did. That's what changes things. How many of them is going to take? Or black robe bastards with a sworn duty to be bound by this constitution. This is the leverage we have, and that's what I want to work with you with, you know, an off offensive case for petition of redress. It's just great. So again, send me an email. You win in court at gmail.com. And I'll send you information on what I'm doing here. You're going to love it. You know, information on my document packets and how we can go about this. You'll be absolutely amazed how the system was originally set up and how I believe it still is and can prove it. That said, uh, you know, get the word out, you know, like my video, subscribe, tell your friends. And if we get out there and all work together and Americans, Asians and Africans across the board, we get it done that much quicker and make a better world for us, our children, their children, and our posterity. The whole point of all of my work over the course of five decades now. Thank you.